G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Friends Season 4 Episodes 21 and 22. I cannot believe that Ross and Emily are actually going through with this. And it just came out of left field for me. I don't know, I just expected Ross to be the type of guy to actually be more paranoid through this relationship. I thought that's the direction they're gonna go through. You know, I imagine that now that we have four episodes until the finale, that the wedding is really gonna happen and we're just preparing for it, which is just crazy to me. But I'm really excited to see what happens in these two episodes. Without further ado, let's jump into it. You know what, it seems like all of a sudden, so much is happening. Ross is getting married. I know. Phoebe's making people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> If I died, the only way people would even know that I was here would be aspirin on this chair. I guess, yeah. But we have to do something. Something huge. Ooh. You climb Mount Everest. Uh. Something stupid, something huge. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to die. People climb that thing every day. We could totally do that. No, that's not... <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You're gonna die. It's just steep. Yeah. Okay, it'd be nice to leave an aspirin on Everest. Oh, boy. <laughs> We're gonna climb Mount Everest. Yeah, baby. I looked into that. What? Yeah, but I mean, it costs like $60,000. Yeah. And you would die. Yeah. Mountaineering is expensive. We could get that Everest video, though. Yeah, we could do that without, you know, risking our lives at all. And while we're down at the video store, you know what else we could rent? What? Die hard. <laughs> that Everest thing is only available through mail order. So you guys will stay here and hang out with me? Yeah. Yeah. But I'll tell you something. One of these days, we're gonna get off our butts and rent Die Hard again. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I still need to watch that. Keep an eye out. I probably will react to it quite soon. But. Does your Uncle Nathan get an invite or not? Nobody likes him. He never fly to London in a million years. Yeah, invite him. <laughs> what? Hey, did I do these neat enough? Yeah, they're fine. If anyone asks, we'll say that Ben addressed them. Oh. So he invited Rachel then? Sure, why Ooh. not? Oh, here we go. I don't think I'd be comfortable having any of my old lovers there. You're kidding me. Here we go. Do you think maybe we shouldn't invite her? No, no, Ross. You know I absolutely adore Rachel. It, well, I thought it might be a bit awkward for you. Absolutely your decision. <gasps> wow. Yeah, no, she wants him not to. I just want to be married again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yeah. Episode one. I just want a million dollars. <laughs> Rachel? Even the sound quality. Everybody, this is Rachel. Uh, this is everybody. This is Chandler and, and Phoebe, Joey, and remember my brother Ross? Sure. Oh, this is great. <laughs> Back in high school, I had a um, major crush on you. I knew. I always figured you just thought it was Monica's geeky older brother. I did. Oh. Wow. But do you think it would be okay if I asked you out sometime, maybe? Maybe. Okay, maybe I will. I got so mad he did that, but it didn't. Big passion in your future. I do. Oh, Ross. Such a good friend. Yeah. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Okay, I have a question. I can't believe we're getting this. Um, well, for a while now, I've been wanting. Um, for a while, yes. Oh, yes, that's I right. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> that was hilarious, man. If you want this part, you're gonna have to take me with it. <laughs> I was so surprised by how many people said that this kiss is like, okay, I'd never do this. Okay, uh, <laughs> more clothes in the dryer? <laughs> I was doing great with Julie before I found out about you. I was doing great before I found out about you. The point is, I, I don't need this right now. I'm with somebody else. I'm happy. This ship has sailed. Oh, deja vu, hey. I don't need your stupid ship. Man, Ross is the king at waiting though, <laughs> like dude. And then he fumbled it later. <laughs> He's staring face. That was a pretty good moment though. This is the first time in my life I'm doing something I actually care about. Here we go. I mean, if you don't get that. Oh, hey, I get that. Tired of having a relationship with your answering machine. Is this about Mark? <gasps> <laughs> Okay. Oh my god! <laughs> We're making this too hard! Oh, I'm, I'm making this too hard. Oh, maybe we should just take a break. Let's cool off, okay? Let's get some frozen yogurt or something. <laughs> frozen yogurt, yeah. A break from us. That was such good acting. Like, I'm just so done. I'm out. I'm just to be your girlfriend. Oh, thank you. I <laughs> 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 that 
that was such a good moment. Horrible, but great. Can I be your girlfriend again? <laughs> yes, you can very much. Get out of here. Just no, get out no, now. No, I know. I want to stay. I want to talk about this. How was she? Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I love them. What? Was she good? Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was awful. She was Horrible. not good. <laughs> <laughs> she was different. Oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Nobody likes change. <laughs> My mom never thought this would work out. Once a cheater, always a cheater. Mm. I just wish we hadn't lost those four months. If time was what you needed just to gain perspective. <laughs> yeah, he, could, he just couldn't do it. We were on a break! <sighs> nah. Rachel and him deserve each other. <laughs> They're both. Uh. That girl just spent the entire evening talking to your friends, looking through Monica's photo albums, and you're sitting here in a hallway with a 28-year-old cheerleader with a fat lip. <laughs> Is this all Ross just reminiscing on Rachel and being like, oh, I actually do still love her. I swear, because if he cheats on Emily... <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That you can like be in a position to marry somebody and be that conflicted. Hey, pretty smart. You're at the wedding. You have to cry. Handkerchief? No, no, I got my invitation. A genius idea. Well, Ross let Ben address mine. <laughs> Did you get your invitation to Ross's wedding? No. Oh. <gasps> I get to bring a guest, we'll show him. No. <laughs> oh. I can't believe I never knew that you can't fly in your third trimester. I knew that. So didn't know that, but you should see your face. <laughs> I know something you don't. Yeah. What's this? this is Ross's wedding invitation? See, maybe that's the one we should have actually hidden. You don't have to do that. I'm happy for him. No, you're not. <laughs> I mean, you are, but... I'm ha I, I'll work on it. <laughs> yep. You're gonna come, though, aren't you? Oh, honey, I don't know. You know what would be real weird? Is if you weren't there. Yeah, exactly. No, oh, I'll think about it. Like, yeah, obviously you don't invite your exes. Who's this from? If they're just exes, but she's like a close friend. Like, they're all friends, right? He remembered. We were walking by this antique store, and I saw this pin in the window. It's just like one my grandmother had when I was a little girl. Hmm. This must have cost him a fortune. I can't believe he did this. Oh, remember back in college when he fell in love with Carol and bought her that expensive crystal duck? Good on you, Chandler. <laughs> yeah, Joey's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Can't take it back. Oh, oh that God. poor girl, man. She didn't deserve this. I land in China. Guess who's in charge? Julie! <laughs> I mean, isn't that just kick you in the crotch, spit on your neck, fantastic? <laughs> I feel so sorry for anyone who's dated Rachel or Ross who isn't Rachel or Ross. <laughs> you hang up. No, you... Okay. You didn't hang up either. She didn't hang up. <laughs> oh. No, you hang up. You, you, you. Dude, I'd hate that. Even if I wasn't in love with him. Hi, it's Rachel. I'm just calling to say that, um. This guy was a legend, by the way. I am over you. That, my friend, what they call closure. closure. <laughs> Rachel, I got a message from you. Oh my God, Ross, no, hang up the phone. Give me 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 the phone. <laughs> The desperation, it's so good. You're over me? Oh. You're, uh, oh <laughs> you're, you're over me? When were you? <laughs> when were you <laughs> under me? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Lately, I've, uh, <clears throat> I've, uh, sort of had feelings for you. Okay, I need to lie down. <laughs> he broke up with Julie. Go hug her for God's sakes. Yep, because he made a flippin' list. It's always been you, right? <laughs> Oh, man. I can't even clap, man. It's just been so much drama from this. Please tell me you didn't say anything to Rachel about me and the girl from the copy place. Was I not supposed to? Dude, Gunther will use any opportunity to destroy a relationship Rachel's in. Ooh. Hey, you're the one who ended it. Because I was mad at you, not because I stopped loving you. You still love me? No, I don't. What? Man. The way Rachel just keeps chasing him. We are so over. <laughs> Fine by me! <laughs> so good. I see Rachel's coming up. Doesn't she look pretty? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, you guys? We don't have to watch this. Oh, yeah. I didn't know this entire episode was going to be flashbacks. Ross? 
That look, though. Can't go to my own prom without a date. I have a wonderful idea. You should take Rachel to the prom. The fact that he's always played that keyboard. Are you <laughs> I honestly commend his bravery. As a teenager, that would be so hard to do. It's always really bad, isn't it? When the parents are like, turn the camera off. Man. He's her lobster. <laughs> uh, how many times have they separated and come back together now? Three? Well, two. Really not going? Yeah. It's Ross. How can I watch him get married? You know, plus somebody's got to stay here with Phoebe. Yeah, someone's got to take care of her. Need someone to help her tie her shoes. Yeah, that's nice. Drive her to the hospital in case she goes into labor. You don't have a car and your license expired. Oh, you need a friend with you. See, there's so much to do and I have so little time to do it in. Aww. It's almost as if they should communicate their feelings. Like, mm. <laughs> Okay, that was a pretty interesting episode. I didn't expect it to kind of, you know, just be flashbacks. It didn't even really feel like an original episode to me. It literally just felt like I was watching a compilation of uh, their relationship. Their whole thing just gives me so many mixed feelings. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but for me, it's like, there's this weird thing they've been able to do where you want them to be together, but you also know that if they're not together, it kind of like serves them right in a way. Like it's, it's only their fault that they're in this complicated situation. It's also like, uh, yeah, they're lobsters. <laughs> but like I said, I just feel sorry for everyone that's dated these two because <laughs> they've always been like second best, you know, uh, or like the second choice, right? Like uh, the, the girl that Ross dated first, right? When Rachel first found out, oh, I felt sorry for her too. Well, it'll be really interesting to see what happens in the next episode. They've sent the invitations out, so it's kind of like you can't go back now. Well, you can, but they're just doing it so quickly, which just complicates things. It means that there isn't really much time for Rachel to digest it and be like, hmm, maybe I should tell Ross how I feel before he goes through with this. She obviously doesn't know how Ross feels because, you know, if she was willing to get back with him, maybe Ross would be like all for that. I mean, he was last time, right? Yeah, I just don't, I just feel like they're setting up something dramatic to happen at the worst time, you know? And it kind of worries me that they're not saying anything now and it's all gonna kind of come out in a way that's very awkward or embarrassing. So I don't know, I'm just, <laughs> my mind is just going, how many people can we prevent from being hurt as possible? <laughs> that's that's where my head, my head's at, but it's really fun. I, lo I love the drama. Okay, on to episode 22. The 10th time I've peed since I've been here. It's also like the 10th time you've told us. <laughs> Sorry, it must be really hard to hear. I'll tell you, it's a lot easier to have three babies playing, bring it into noise, bring it into funk on your bladder. Whoa! So sick of being pregnant. The happiness I get is from a cup of coffee with decaf because, oh, I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Phoebs, you, you want a cookie? Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Honey, how are those mood swings coming? I haven't really had any yet. <laughs> really? Are you sure? I love that the actress is actually pregnant and this entire plot line is just their way of like covering it. <laughs> it's so good, man. Here's the ring. <gasps> yes. Yes, a thousand times. <laughs> Any ideas for the bachelor party yet? Before you start handing out wedding rings, don't you have to decide who your best man's gonna be? Oh no. Oh, it's awkward. It's awkward, oh, it's awkward. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is very awkward. Sort of already asked Chandler. He got to do it at your first wedding. I mean, I, I've known him a lot longer. Ooh. I don't have any brothers. I'm never gonna get to be a best man. You can be the best man when I get married. I'm never gonna get to be a best man. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Taylor. You get to be my best man twice. I don't get to be yours at all. Oh. You, yeah, of course you can be my best man. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What about me? You, you just said I could. I'm not even getting married. Question for science fiction writers. <laughs> I don't even. All right, you know what? That's it. Oh. Joey, I want you to be my best man. Yes. Shame about you though. Okay. It's not fair. Ross has spent more time with women <laughs> than Chandler has. He spent most of his time with Joey. One of the babies is kicking. I thought that was a good thing. It's kicking one of the other babies. <laughs> Don't make me come in there. Whoa. Do you guys have like a big ball I can borrow? Thanks. Why do you need it? Oh, we're having a big party tomorrow night. Later. Planning on inviting us? No. No. Later. <laughs> no. No. Your ass back here, Tribbiani. <laughs> You're in trouble. Hormones. How come you're having a party and we're not invited? It's, a it's guy Ross's thing. bachelor party. Are you strippers? <laughs> <laughs> I 
then you're not invited. All right, fine. You're not invited to uh, the party that we're going to have either. Well, well, what party? What? Joey, <laughs> that's fair. The baby shower for Phoebe. Wow, that so doesn't sound like something I want to do later. There you go. I can't believe I'm going to have a party. <laughs> oh, Phoebe. <laughs> a party? Oh, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Don't disappoint her now. Obviously, I got you, me, and Chandler. Got there because, well, we've been talking about this pretty loud. I'll be there. I love that they include him. Really like to limit the number of museum geeks that are gonna be there. Let's not invite any of the anthropologists. Dinosaur dudes. Yeah, the dinosaur dudes. Hey, guys, what are you doing? Planning my bachelor party with my best man. Good luck trying to top the last one. This one won't take place in the basement of a pizza hut. Ooh. Well, I'm Ross, I'm Ross. I'm too good for the hut. I'm too good for the hut. <laughs> Everything so far sounds great, Joey. Just keep it on the mellow side, okay? Just a couple of guys hanging out playing poker. No strippers or anything, okay? Uh, that's not happening. Fun planning your mellow bachelor party. Well, there's gonna be strippers there. He didn't say anything about no strippers. He just said no strippers. Yeah. I chose not to hear that. Yeah. Look what I got, look what I got, look what I got. Oh, can you believe they make these for little people? That's so cute. This is my favorite. Aww. Oh, that is so sweet. She's gonna love dressing them in these. Aww. Except, uh, Phoebe's not gonna be the one who gets to dress them. Oh. Because she's not going to get to keep the babies. We are throwing the most depressing baby shower ever. Yeah, right. We give her all gifts that she can use after she's done being pregnant. Tequila. Those leather pants that she's always wanted. What the hell is this? No, oh, no. <laughs> Actually thought it would make me feel better. I can't even use for another two months. Oh, this sucks. Phoebe. All right, what's my next present? Uh, <laughs> hey, listen, man, about the stripper. Good call. <laughs> I've decided my best man is my best friend, Gunther. Oh no, here we go. What's my last name? Oh yeah. Central Perk. <laughs> Thanks for not marrying Rachel. Ha. Oh. Got a little party favors, check it out. Wow, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh my goodness, man. It's so petty. Just want everybody to know that the position of my best man is still open. You know, so is the position of the bride. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth, man. Yeah, you got some chili on your neck. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. This this was great. See you guys Monday morning. Uh. Museum geeks. Party's over. Bye-bye to the nice lady. There you go. Back to your parents' basement. Oh. Come on, boys. Come on out. There you go. Aww. Look at the little birdies. Mm -hmm. Are those yours? Yeah. Joey, don't. And I got the duck totally trained to watch this. Stare at the wall. Hardly move. <laughs> Be white. <laughs> Easy. So I had fun tonight for one hell of a party. And listen, uh, if any of my friends ever get married or a birthday or a Tuesday. Yeah, you know, that'd be uh, <laughs> so I guess good night. Well, unless you uh unless you want to hang around. Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh! What's going on? Hey! Stripper! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> no! Oh! Stripper stole the ring! The stripper, get up, get up! The stripper stole the ring! <laughs> what? The ring is gone! Oh. Here we go. Worst best man. <laughs> Wait. You're the worst best man ever! Wait, what? <laughs> He's gone! You slept with the stripper? Of course! Of, of course! Oh my gosh. I, I wanted to apologize if I seemed a tad edgy yesterday at my mm. shower. Just a tad, just a tad. The hormones, you know? I know, a week. Hormones. Oh. <laughs> Rachel pressed up against Monica. It was just, it was so sweet. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is she gonna hit me this time? You seem to be doing so much better, that's great. <laughs> it feels like it's, everything's been about me lately, so actually we were just talking about me not going to Ross's wedding. Oh. Too hard, given the history. This reminds me of the time when I was living on the street and the guy offered to buy me food if I slept with him. <gasps> How? H How is this like that? Mm, let's see, it's not. That was an actual problem. Yours is a bunch of, you know, high school crap. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, rage! Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I guess I just, All right, you know. here come the waterworks. <laughs> hey, guys. 
Hey. Oh, uh, hey, that uh, that wedding ring. I was thinking I might pick one of those babies up for myself. Where might one get one of those? Hmm. When my grandmother first came to this country, the clothes on her back were all she had with her. <sighs> yeah, no. I'd say that the ring is irreplaceable. It's been in my family for generations, and every bride who's worn it lived a long and happy life. Magic ring. Ah, <laughs> ring of power, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stripper stole it. My, my ring? The stripper stole? How? How, how, how could this happen? <laughs> said, hey, Joey, why don't you be my best man? I mean... All right, fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the cops. I, I screwed up, you don't have to turn me in. <laughs> no. <laughs> they said they're gonna look into it right after they solve all the murders. <laughs> like they matter. Come on. But what are you telling me? That there's nothing we can do? Ross, I am so, so sorry. I... What if we just uh, called her and had her come to my office? Well, that sounds like fun, but we got a ring to find. Oh, <laughs> to get the ring off her, Joey. Here's your tea, Phoebe. Mmm, so good. Okay. Sweet, good. Oh, what? What, she made the tea. Oh, I think I just had a contraction. You... Ooh. You can't have the baby here. I mean, I haven't sterilized the apartment since the guys moved out. <laughs> Monica. It's all right. It's probably false labor. Somebody get the book. Rachel, get the book. The book. Okay. <laughs> I love that she has friends like this. Chandler, you get behind the desk. And when she comes in, she won't recognize you because, well, why would she? Oh. Mr. Gonzalez, and I'll be Mr. Wong. Mr. Wong? <laughs> Diverse. Yeah. Anybody call for security? <laughs> Okay, which one of you guys is Gunther Central for? Oh. Where's my ring? My dead grandmother's wedding ring, where is it? Where is it? Way to be cool, man. It was a ring in a box on my nightstand. Wait a minute, you guys think I stole some ring? No! <laughs> I don't need to steal some stupid ring. I make $1,600 a week doing what I do. Damn. Marry me. <laughs> wow. So where did it go? It was in my room all night. If she didn't take it, and I didn't Ooh. take it. I <gasps> the duck ate it. <laughs> yeah. Feed the duck. <laughs> yeah. He locked them in the room. Duh. How do you feel? Okay, I guess. I guess I, I know it's gonna be over soon. But isn't that a good thing? Usually when you're when you're done with the pregnant thing, then you get to do the mom thing. Right. Yeah. Sitting around in my leather pants drinking tequila. It sounds bad, doesn't it? I know, I know what I got myself into. It's just that now that they're in me, it's like I know them, you know, and it's just not, it's not gonna be easy when, you know, these little babies have to go. It's like you're losing a part of yourself, almost. But it's not like you're not gonna have anything. I mean, you're gonna have nieces and nephews. In some ways, that's even better. No, really, really. That is true, they are family. Or yelling at them when they're bad, you know, or deciding to put them on- You're the cool auntie. I mean, you're gonna be the one that they come to when they wanna run away from home, when they talk to you about sex. You get to be cool Aunt Phoebe. Cool Aunt Phoebe. <laughs> yeah. I am pretty cool. Yeah, you are. You're so cool. Are they gonna love you? Mm. They are gonna love me. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh sweetie. <laughs> oh, what? what? Oh, God. Oh. Just kidding. Oh. Aw. <laughs> What? Oh my god! Oh, got you again. You're so easy. Oh my gosh, man. Wow. If anything should happen to him. Joey, vet said it's a simple procedure. Things could go wrong. You don't know. He's such a good duck. Oh. Oh, here we go. No. <laughs> oh man. I bet their apartment stinks. Yeah. What a scene. Somebody lose a ring? Hey. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> the way he said. He's resting now, but you can see him in a little bit. Oh, I mean, you, you made me your best man and I totally let you down. You wouldn't have lost the ring, right? Ross, you were right from the start. He should be your best man. <gasps> I get to choose my best man. I want both you guys. Oh, really? Really? his best men. I mean, you two are, are my, I mean, I'm lucky to have just one good, Thanks, man. Oh. <laughs> I gotta go check something. Yeah! Oh, that was a, such a touching moment. Oh. What a baby. Total wuss. <laughs> <laughs> that is so nice, though, to have two people you consider to be worthy of that sort of position. That last episode was really good. I really enjoyed that. Just seeing the chaos of him, of like the, the fighting between who's going to be the best man and the whole thing with Phoebe having her mood swings. I do like that as much as she was having mood swings and stuff like that. Uh, 
deep down she did have something that she was genuinely upset about and that was not being able to be the mother of those children uh but oh man so lucky to have like rachel and monica be there to tell her you know what she get, gets to be right it's a really cool auntie that always gets to be there for the kids i wonder how that works though like do the kids grow up knowing that their auntie is their birth mom and she's also close enough in their lives that i'd feel like you almost have more of a kinship to her you know i i don't know that's just how i'd feel personally uh yeah i just i wonder what that's going to look like for phoebe through the rest of the series yeah she will be a cool auntie though i bet she'll be really cool that was really funny though too with uh with <laughs> the fact that 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 ring was so sentimental to him like oh my goodness that was a good couple episodes but it did really feel like they're stretching out the time between uh pr proposing and this wedding that they're gonna have i do feel like they're trying to fill it up with time i mean one of the big things in these two episodes was obviously rachel feeling uh you know, upset about the whole situation, right? Like, oh, goodness me. <sighs> well, I imagine it's only going to get more complicated. And because no one's communicating, it's just going to all bottle up until some big dramatic moment, I imagine, within the next few episodes, which I'm really, really excited for. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. I did. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.